Hello and welcome to the Tea Group Pub channel. In this video, I'm going to show you my easy bump method in order to get your hair ready to go really fast. If this topic interests you, then please keep watching. Okay, so in order to do the easy bump method, uh, we're going to start off with our thermal heating spray, as you can see here. We have a serum to add shine and to defrizz the hair. I have my got to be glued. Any hairspray will do. Uh, this is to uh, create hold so that the hair doesn't drop really fast. You're going to need clips so when you section off the hair, uh, you won't get hair you know caught into places where you really don't want it and a flat iron as i can as i'm showing you here okay so here is what the hair is looking like i'm going to give you a 360 um, of the hair and she could use uh, a little bit of bumping in order to uh, showcase all of the layers that we have going on here. So what I'm going to do first is take the hair and section it. Uh, I'm going to do the two sides and the back. As you can see here. I also just wanted to add, I did all of the, the styling products off camera just so I can save more time. Uh, so we can get on with the tutorial. So uh, you won't see me applying everything, but I've already applied it. So uh, let's begin. Okay, so uh, the next thing we're going to do after we've uh, sectioned the hair, I'm just going to detangle it to make sure there's no uh, tangles or anything that's going on in the hair. And I'm going to take uh, section by section and I'm going to walk uh, the curling iron, the, the flat iron throughout the hair, as you can see here. And I'm just gradually, each time I'm gradually um, bending the hair in order to get like the layers in, as you can see here. I felt I needed a little bit more curl at the end. Uh, just a nice bump, nothing really too serious. Uh, the front, the top is a little too, sh too flat for me. So I'm going in in mid length of the head and I'm continuing the process, but I'm basically just adding a little a slight bump into the hair as i'm walking it up throughout the entire head now what this is going to do is create or well, showcase the layers that you've already put in the hair and you just continue to do this to get the look that you're going for i felt i could use a little bit more here so that's what you see me doing here and um yeah so if you didn't want to have to do uh spiral curls throughout the entire head this is an easy easy fix right here i'm just going to show you the comparison between the done side and the not the side that wasn't done okay so i'm just going to clip this done side out of the way now this side happened to be a little bit too large but you're going to see in a minute i'm going to have to divide it into the middle as i go through up go up throughout the head so um, right here i'm doing the same thing i'm just i'm going to bend it here and work walk my way up uh, right here i'm realizing it's like it's too wide of a section but uh, basically doing the same thing. Hopefully you can get what it is that I'm trying to uh, attempting to try to show you here. Um, these this is an easy way because uh, if you sit up here and have to spiral curl each one of these or barrel curl each one of these sections and whatever it takes so long. So this is an easy alternative if you have layers, of course. If you don't, uh, I don't think this would be very helpful. But uh, yeah, hopefully you can get a gist of what it is that I'm, I'm trying to show you here. So again, like I said, I had to divide this section into two sections because it shouldn't be any wider than the plates, the heating plates of the flat iron in order for it to work. Because if it's not in the heating plates, it's not going to actually uh, use the heat in order to flat iron it. So uh, basically, this is what I'm doing here. I'm work, working my way up from the bottom up and if I realize the top hasn't got enough uh, bumping then I'm going to go at the top and do the same thing over again.
Okay, hopefully this is the part of the video that I'm hoping uh, that you can see um, what it is that I'm doing. Okay, so uh, again, uh, I'm just applying all of my styling products as you can see here. And I'm just going to uh, section the top from the side because the top is going to have to use a different direction in my opinion in order to get the look that I'm going for. So I'm just going to section off the top. And put that to the side and then i'm going to continue through the side of the head and hopefully this gives you a better view of what it is that i'm trying to accomplish here okay so uh just taking a little bit of the section where i did curl in order to make it where i won't have any straight pieces in there and i'm sectioning the top well the middle from the bottom and uh see i have a, a little bit of the bit the curled section already with the straight so i wouldn't miss anything when i finished you know what i'm saying so um just walking uh the curling iron up i've never done this with a a, a two inch flat iron which i intend on getting one i'm not sure when uh but uh this is a one inch and it works perfectly fine um uh, with this length of hair so uh i haven't had any problems personally with it so uh just to try something new i guess you would say so i have a little bit of the curled portion here i'm going to do the same thing as i'm going up this the head i'm going to bend and bend and comb and bend uh sort of like detangles the hair in order for me to go on to the next section and um the front i want it kind of forward so i can showcase the layers the face framing layers that i've cut into this wig so that's what you see me doing here Okay, so now on to the front section. Uh, I'm going forward because I want to showcase those layers, that uh, face framing layers. So I'm just going to bend the ends, keep working, and walk my way to the back of the head, just changing my direction instead of going uh, front, well, uh, top to bottom or bottom to top, whatever. I'm going uh, front to back, if that makes any sense. And is anything that I've missed, I'm just going to go in and bump that in real quick. Yes. Okay, hopefully you can get a better view from this direction. Uh, again, I am uh, taking the section and bringing it more forward in the front because like I said before, I wanted to uh, showcase my face framing layers that I actually cut into the wig. Uh, yeah, so that's what you see me doing here, starting at the bottom, working my way up to the top, taking that mid shaft and ends and trying to bend those ends and walking my way from the bottom up to the top and um, just making sure I get those layers, showcase those layers that I actually put into the wig. Um, 
yeah so that's what you see me doing here and if it's looking a little bit flat at the top then go back uh, at the top and recurl those okay so right here I'm really gonna go forward with the the flat iron here again to showcase uh, those face framing layers and going from the front into the back and I'm bending it into a direction that I wanted to show okay so I could, I could do a little bit more here so that's what you see me doing here Okay, so now that I've checked the entire head and I'm satisfied with what I'm looking at, I just take a little bit of serum and I'm going to apply it as best as I can throughout the entire head. As you can see, I'm sectioning the in, inside of the hair, not just applying it to the surface because I want even coverage and shine um, and smoothness, honestly. So uh, that's what you see me doing here. Just a reminder, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks. Okay, right here I'm just showing you a reminder of what it looked like before I bumped the ends. Giving you a 360 really quick. And here's what it's looking like afterwards. As you can see, we got a nice subtle bump on the ends. Uh, we didn't have to go through the process of trying to spiral curl and barrel curl and all that other stuff. Uh, this is just a nice simple look. You know, everyday look if you just wanted your ends kind of like a bend to your ends. Uh, works per, works on all types of hair, whether it's long or short, doesn't matter. Uh, hopefully you can see the difference here. Okay, so right here I'm just showing you what, I, what it would look like on a person, actually. Um... This was supposed to be a video for eye the eyeshadow look, but uh, it works just uh, just as fine to show you, you know, what it looks like once you've bump, bumped your ends and you get to see all the layers in the hair and the movement and everything like that. So uh, hopefully this video helped you and thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.